so we can right click a string control or indicator to change the string display type and behavior for example by default it is a normal display we can change it to display codes display in which case it displays the slash codes for example slash s is for space which are the characters which are not printable that is not characters that do not display then we have password display sterics and we have hex display which displays the hexa values or the of the s key codes of the characters we can also use vi's and functions from the file io palette to pass strings to an external file such as a text file or a spreadsheet For example, we can use this. to convert and write So we can write a text file. So let's run the code and it will ask for a path. Press OK. So let's go back and specify that open or create. So let's run it again. Then now the data is being written. So let's go to the folder. and 
open it up and there our data is being written unformatted it's still being written so and we can do the same with the for a write delimited so let's say we want to write in data 2d data let's say ten by ten of random numbers so let's remove this run this vi it will ask for a path so let's override this file and uh, let's call it c uh, let's say let's let it remain uh, text so data has been written let's go and check there is our data random numbers and we can also use so let's launch excel so let's launch a blank workbook and let's drop our text file into excel and excel loads our data just fine so we can do now and we can do post processing and our changes are save to the file excel updatable so we can use a combo box control to create a list of strings that we can cycle through such as a pull down menu
combo box controls are different from a ring and enums because they output data as strings if you go to block diagram you can see that it's pink string these two are blue numerics instead of numerics further as we type a string in a combo box control at runtime, LabVIEW selects the first shortest string in the control that begins with the letters that we type. If no string match the letters we type and the control does not allow undefined string values, LabVIEW does not accept or display the letters that we type in the control. So. And if we type something that is not here, then nothing is displayed. And if we right click it and uncheck allow undefined strings, then it wouldn't even allow us to change the values other than select from whatever is present. We can also uh, press the up and down arrow keys to cycle through the combo box values.